Hello and welcome to Just One Watch. Now, quick, quick press check. Here we go. There you go. This is my Zoe, yeah? I've done this in my first video. I've been wearing this for three or four days now. And it's a fantastic watch. I would recommend it to anybody. Um, check out the review. Okay, so today... Now, this one's come slightly better packaged than the Zoe did. As you can see, we have a lot of uh, plastic around it. Now, this one actually came to me when I ordered this. This was uh, advertised as a no brand watch. Yeah? So, uh, again, it only cost me a couple of dollars. We're right at the, the very budget end of the market here. Yeah? But here we go. Now, as you can see, it is actually branded. Can you see that? My camera lights are crazy. But it does actually say um, Socky, yeah? What's wrong with that? Yeah, there you go. Socky, yeah? So it was advertised as a, a, a no brand watch. Um, but it's actually Socky, who I have seen elsewhere, and I've actually ordered another Socky elsewhere, um, and we'll try that one out as well. But this one, um, now I've seen something similar advertised as a, a Luminex um, sort of copy. That deposits my camera. Look at that. There you go. I mean, this one cost me, I think it was a couple of dollars. It's still got the, uh, we still have the uh, little weight tab in here. I'm just going to take it out. And hopefully it will start ticking. And there we go. Ticking away. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so what I can see right away, right out of the box, it, it, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't look cheap. Um, the strap is, if I can just, um, let me see, I'll bend the strap over. You can always tell. Yeah, the strap bounces right back, you know what I mean? If it was just something filled with cardboard, it would just stay creased, but it's not. It's not leather. It's some synthetic material. But it feels nice. Yeah, it's not pretending to be leather, but it feels nice. Um, the case back does say stainless back. Stainless steel back, socky, yeah. It's in this yeah, it's a double, double pin clasp, as you can see here, so you've got the two pins, and you've got two pins on the, on the band there. Um, again, it feels, it feels kind of heavy in weight, it's definitely not a lightweight, um, but yeah. It's quite nice, it's quite nice. It cost a couple of dollars, delivered. I think three or four dollars delivered. Um, check out the... Check out the posting. Um, again, it's really nice. What can I say? You have a, you have a date here. So, we'll, we'll try, we'll try and get this working. So... Two clicks, second click for the day, and that feels really actually quite, quite, quite firm, quite stiff, yeah? It's not loose at all, yeah? Quite loose, and sacking as well. And here for the, the day. You 
You can even click and click down. Hold on to it. Yeah. So it clicks quite well. Um, now a lot of a lot of comments I've I've seen on other um, reviews is that with these cheaper movements they make a lot of noise. Yeah, they're very very loud. Listen. Now, I'm self spoken, so I I apologise, yeah. I get this all the time on in videos and when I speak. I am soft spoken, so maybe you don't hear me too good. But if this was loud, you would hear it. Now I can just hear that one, yeah? But the his all I'm wearing. Nothing, nothing. Yeah. Um and it's, it's something to look out for. But I'll tell you, for a couple of dollars, this one here is... is okay, and um, I like these all. This one here is my first soaky. Soaky, whatever you call it. And it's... It's, it's a nice looking watch, to be honest. It's a really nice looking watch. You can put that on your wrist and I'll, I'll bet you a buck. Nobody would think it's a four dollar watch delivered. Yeah? Man, look at the face on it. I will just, um... Let me just put it on wrist and I'll show you on wrist. We'll see how it looks on wrist. I haven't tried it on yesterday. So, uh, give me a wee second. I'll try it on wrist and we'll see how it looks. Okay guys, so there we go, it's on rest, it's okay, yeah, field watch, I guess you'd call it a field watch, um, I have a six and three quarter inch wrist, and to be honest it fits beautifully, let me just do a down the wrist shot, there you go, absolutely no gaps whatsoever, on a six and three quarter inch wrist. I don't have my micrometer here, but I'm guessing um, from what it says on the website and everywhere else, I'm guessing 40, around 40 around the crown and around 48 to 50 lug to lug would be about the size here. Yeah, it's a fantastic looking watch. Let's see, it wears really well. The strap is lovely, actually. Very soft. Um, what can you say? For a couple of bucks, I would recommend this. Now, I just have to say, none of these videos are sponsored in any way whatsoever. If at any time somebody wants to sponsor me, <laughs> I will do so, but I will tell you. Um, but at the moment, none of these are sponsored. This uh, watch is available. I bought it on Lazada. I will leave a link down below. Uh, if you have any comments on the watch, or if you have one, or you have any comments um, in general, or you have any watches you think I should look at and review, please leave comments in below. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe. By subscribing, you can... Uh, and sure I keep making these videos. But yeah, that's a fantastic watch. And for a couple of bucks, I would wear that all day. In fact, I will wear it all day. I'll wear it for the next few days. Okay, thank you guys, thank you.